When comparing the uh, progressive cavity pump technology to other 3D bioprinting technologies, um, one of the main advantages discussed on the last slide is that um, we are able to print with a wide variety of biomaterials. Um, I mentioned from low to high viscosities. As you can see on the slide here, we are able to print with many different hydrogels, um, for example, agros, collagen, um, alginate, etc. cetera. Uh, we can print different ceramics with our print head, um, metals, alloys, etc. cetera. Um, we're able to print with all of the different cells that uh, researchers might be focused on. So you can see here bone, skin, uh, blood, ligament, etc. And then lastly, uh, pastes. So uh, paste may be something that uh, has the solid filled particles, um, like a pharmaceutical printing, nutraceutical printing, or even uh, food material printing. Next, we can look at different examples of biomaterials that we have actually printed in our lab using um, the Pyridine Progressive Cavity Pump and our uh, temperature control device. So looking here, you can see um, on the top right of the screen as the first example shown, we have printed in our lab a bone ink material. Uh, you can see, you know, there's no um, clogging at the beginning of the dispense. It's a highly precise, um, high precision print, um, even though the material is a filled material with a higher viscosity. And then uh, looking at the bottom right slide um, or picture, I'm sorry, is um, an ear uh, model that we have printed with Cellinx uh, bio ink material which consists of um, alginate and cellulose hydrogels.